Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to provide a report to the United States House of Representatives that Americans support impeachment. Last week, I introduced articles of impeachment against five people who have abused the power of their positions and provided corruption and disservice to the American people. I introduced articles of impeachment against U.S. Attorney Matthew Graves at the Department of Justice. Matthew Graves refuses to prosecute 67 percent of the crimes in Washington, D.C., and abuses his office in a political pursuit who he deems political enemies while persecuting people for January 6, people who just walked through the Capitol. Matthew Graves must be impeached. He should prosecute criminals in Washington, D.C. That, that commit all kinds of crimes every single day, not care about one day where people have already been arrested and are rotting in jail. Last week, I introduced articles of impeachment against FBI Director Christopher Wray by turning the FBI into Joe Biden and Merrick Garland's personal police force. Chris Wray has made himself a lackey of the regime. Under Ray's watch, the FBI has intimidated, harassed, and trapped American citizens that have been deemed enemies of the Biden regime. FBI even raided Mar-a-Lago on August 8th of 2022 in an unconstitutional raid of former president's home. FBI whistleblower Garrett O'Boyle told congressional investigators that the FBI created a terrorist threat tag following the Dobbs Supreme Court decision in 2022. O'Boyle confirmed that the purpose of the tag was to target pro-life individuals. And now Ray has weaponized the FBI against his own agents. These brave FBI whistleblowers have been stripped of their salaries and their security clearances simply for coming forward and bravely telling the truth. FBI Director Christopher Ray must be impeached. I introduced articles of impeachment against Attorney General Merrick Garland. Since Merrick Garland took over as Attorney General in March of 2021, he has completely weaponized the Department of Justice. The politicization of the Department of Justice has resulted in the persecution of the left's political enemies in a real two-tier justice system in America. Garland has used the FBI as a personal police force for his boss, Joe Biden. The Department of Justice's persecution of Joe Biden's primary political adversary, Donald J. Trump, is anti-democratic. Raiding the former president's home for legally declassifying documents is a transparent violation of justice. Persecuting a declared candidate for president of the United States is nothing short of election interference. But not only that. From investigating parents who protest their local school, school boards to going after pro-life activists and Catholics, Merrick Garland must be impeached. What I want to tell the House of Representatives today is a Rasmussen poll was released just last week that 53 percent of voters in America, Republicans, Independents, and Democrats, support the impeachment of Joe Biden for high crimes and misdemeanors. I introduced articles of impeachment on Joe Biden last week because of the national security crisis as our, in our, at our border. I also introduced articles of impeachment against Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas for failing to do his duties to secure America's border. But he's only doing the bidding of his boss, Joe Biden. At 5 p.m. yesterday, I released a survey simply on my social media asking, do you support impeachment? 8,600 people responded, and that was just from 5 p.m. last night. 77% said yes, they support impeachment. Only 23% oppose. And if anyone's read the comments on my Twitter account, you know for sure it's not just Republicans that follow me. Joe Biden has deliberately compromised our national security by refusing to enforce immigration laws and secure our border. He has allowed nearly 6 million illegals from over 170 countries to invade our country. He has caused approximately 1,700 percent increase in border encounters in just one sector of our northern border. Under his reign, there have been approximately 1.4 million known gotaways who have evaded U.S. authorities. 
He has allowed fentanyl, the number one killer of Americans between ages of 18 and 45, to overwhelmingly flood into our country and kill over 300 Americans every single day. Joe Biden should be impeached. In my district alone, we have had an increase of 350 percent of fentanyl murders. The gentlewoman's uh, time has expired. Thank you. Joe Biden must be impeached. I yield.